Aina cho, aina cho, aina cho, wani mfuru kembechi. Onyo bula cho, bono. We were born through the rigid creaks of our ancestors' hands. The rings around their wrists symbolized halos for our heads. We were born with innocence. The elders would say that we were being watched by those who came before us. So why didn't they see the bodies next to bodies, next to bodies, all in the same grotesque patterns mocking our ancestors? Our ancestors didn't pour wine into our veins just for them to be cut open, or ivory in our bones just for them to be broken. I've calculated. Over 6,644 innocent bodies, over 40 attacks, 400 burnt corpses, and 736 women abducted. I know this better than my social security number. Our ancestors are against using fire for evil deeds, maybe because they've seen how quickly fire devoured the children of Baga. Flames scorched buildings and melted crops back to earth. How quickly the roots of a how quickly the roots of a tree take up blood, making it a forest of death, or streams making it a river of death. Nigeria should not be a place of death. I believe that when God created our souls. He made them so rough and jagged that he almost cut himself. But God doesn't bleed, so he made humans do it for him. Neither God nor our ancestors created Boko Haram. They gave birth to themselves. They do not deserve to be here. Our ancestors do not grant halos to those who collect tears like wine or those who hand us our children like crushed blackberries in the palms of their hands. When we die, our dark skin blends so perfectly with the earth that we are mistaken for deserts. These are not deserts. These are mass graves. This was not supposed to be a sad poem. This was supposed to help you remember the 6,644 innocent bodies, over 40 attacks, 400 burnt corpses, and 736 women abducted. Remember the victims. Remember our children. Remember us.